Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and this is the iRobot Roomba 980. So the Roomba 980 is the latest in a long line of Roomba models that have been around since the early 2000s. This one sports an updated design, new features, improved features from older models, Wi-Fi connectivity, and a brand new app. So keep in mind that this isn't just the newest Roomba model, it's actually the highest end Roomba that iRobot offers. That means its MSRP of $899 shouldn't exactly surprise you too much, given the fact that iRobot's models range anywhere from about $300 or so to this $899 model. Now, if that price tag scares you, that probably means that this isn't exactly marketed towards you, so you may want to look at some of the other models that iRobot offers. Taking a look at the hardware, you'll find it's pretty similar, yet it's a little bit different. The hockey puck design that many have come to know and love is still here and is as good as ever. The large cleaning button up top and simplified home and target clean buttons make it easier for one-touch use than previous models. And the handle up top makes it super portable, and since it's relatively lightweight, it really is a portable vacuum, unlike that traditional vacuum you have sitting in your closet. There's no crazy cords or hoses to lug around, just a little puck that has a small diameter of 13.8 inches, and is only 3.6 inches high. On the front, you'll find the bump panel that goes 180 degrees around the front, from the left to the right side, this one's going to push in when it bumps into walls or other objects to help the Roomba navigate. Up top is the brand new camera that helps map your dwelling and keep the Roomba from running full force into objects. Around the back is the dust bin which slides out with some force and thankfully this is a closed module as the force needed to take it out would certainly make it spill otherwise. Underneath you're going to find that triple head sweeper brush that extends a few inches out from the front right. You'll have found this on previous Roomba models, it's not really anything new necessarily. But just to give you an overview, this one's going to grab dust and other debris and help move it to the center which contains the Aeroforce brushless debris extractors. Just like the Roomba 880 before it, the 980 doesn't use brushes to grab debris. Rather, it's got these rubber rollers. Rollers pop out when needed, and the design keeps less hair and other cables from getting tangled inside than if they were brushes. Also located underneath are the three wheels, one of which rotates 360 degrees for navigation. The other two are rubber and have grooves for extra grip on many different kinds of surfaces. These wheels can extend about two inches out from the bottom of the body, allowing the Roomba to clean uneven surfaces and climb or descend small slopes with ease. Lastly are a number of sensors located around the base of the unit. Some detect cliffs to keep the Roomba from falling, while others detect the surface type or how dirty the floor is. Included in the box are two virtual walls, as they are called, and are little battery-powered columns that help keep the Roomba out of places it doesn't need to go. These have two different modes. One's a straight shot that keeps a straight line out so the Roomba will not pass the barrier, and another is a four-foot diameter ring that keeps the Roomba from going anywhere within four feet of the virtual wall. Navigation in general is more intelligent than previous Roomba models, thanks to the included camera and some other sensors on board. While vacuuming, if it needs to go back to base and charge, it can find its way back all by itself. And the only time it couldn't for me was when I picked it up to spot clean something and it didn't know where in the house I had placed it. I also had it get stuck under one of my couches a few times, and honestly, I have no idea how it got under there in the first place, as it really shouldn't be small enough to do so, but somehow decided it wanted to get under there really badly. Speaking of this sort of stubbornness, it really does have a great little personality that reminded me a lot of the R2-D2 name that I gave it. And it really does make it feel more like a robot pet than that boring old vacuum in the closet. Sounds with each command are cute and distinct, and unique sounds for start, stop, errors, backing up, and plenty of other things are all here. And they're definitely an enjoyable range of sounds that likely will have you laughing one or two times as it does its job. Actual cleaning is nothing short of phenomenal, and I found my house was cleaner with the Roomba around than it had ever been before. Part of this is just how effortlessly vacuuming becomes with the Roomba, and I liken it to an automatic sprinkler system for your lawn. Once it's there, you seldom think about how clean your floors are, especially when the Roomba is on a regular schedule. You just consistently come home to a clean home. It really is very refreshing. Noise levels are generally much lower than regular vacuums and are more pleasant to run when at home, although you probably won't want it running around with company or when you're having phone conversations. The Roomba can suction up to 10 times the amount of previous models when it gets to carpet, leaving your carpets cleaner than ever, and it does all of this automatically, changing suction levels depending on what it detects the floor type it's on. Just make sure you clean up any cords, toys, or light area rugs before allowing it to run, as it can easily get stuck on things. Sure, there are sensors, but we all know how cords are, getting themselves into impossible knots, grabbing anything they can in their way, 
and things get even crazier when you have another object that's moving by itself. Only a few times did objects cause the Roomba to actually stop its job, and even then it was a task of simply dislodging the object and hitting start again. I never actually had the Roomba break anything in my home or anything like that. One of the biggest new features of the Roomba 980 is the app, and thankfully the app is absolutely fantastic. This is where you're gonna control the Roomba for most tasks, unlike previous models that had buttons on the unit itself. Scheduling, remote cleaning, and changing any of the options are all gonna be done within this app. And thankfully for you multi-OS users out there, there's gonna be apps for both Android and iOS. iRobot Home is its name, and you can also give your own Roomba its own name, as well as add more Roombas if you have a multi-level home or something like that. Inside, you're also going to find maintenance schedules, how dirty your dustbin and rollers are, tutorials on how to perform general maintenance and other cleaning tasks, detailed job history, when the Roomba was run, and how much space and time it cleaned as well. Simple maintenance includes emptying the dustbin after every use for best performance, although I found this wasn't always necessary as your house isn't always going to be as dirty to fill up a dustbin. The HEPA filter found inside the dustbin usually just needs to be blown off, but can easily be replaced if needed. Honestly, I absolutely love this thing. It's so carefree, it really leaves my house almost completely spotless, and it just does a great job. This thing has completely changed my household cleaning behavior, and that's not just to say that it's vacuuming all the time, but also that it's kept us from keeping toys and other small things from staying on the floor longer than needed. Is it worth 900 bucks? Well, that's definitely gonna depend on your usage and of course how important taking annoying long chores like vacuuming out of your life are. Then there also is the consideration of the other models that iRobot has and the cheaper models that don't have nearly as many features and can't clean as large of an area as this one. This particular Roomba is designed to clean around 2,000 square feet, but like I said, there are cheaper models available for people with small apartments and things like that that won't need some of the other advanced features. Of course, that connectivity feature is really, really good, and I really hope that they add this to more connected Roombas soon, especially the cheaper ones, because this particular one is an absolutely amazing product, and I would love to see this extended to their other line. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check us out on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you're at, we're at. Thanks for watching. Till next time.